The sensor morph supports MPE. This is short for MIDI polyphonic expression. This is much more like a guitar or violin where the positions of your fingers and slight changes in them affect the overall sound. So you have individual pitch bend on each key and you have after pressure so how hard you press it can affect the sound as well as a vertical aspect so you have this dimension to work with So I'm opening up and mixing different oscillators as I move up and down the keys. This is pretty different from a traditional keyboard. Let's take a closer look at what you can do with it. You can go to the Sensil app, import the map with MPE, then go ahead and load it onto the piano or onto the music production. I'm doing the piano, I'll send the map to the morph. Now it's all set up for MPE. So each key will send out controller and pitch information. That's all done. I can quit the app and I'll go into my DAW software. Uh, this is Bitwig Studio. It plays really nicely with MPE instruments. You can use it in some of their built-in instruments. I'll be showing it with the Rolly Equator software since it graphs out a lot of the data nicely. One important facet of MPE is that it's all relative. So wherever I start on the key position-wise, it's always ready to move up to change the sound. So it starts at the same point whether I play here or here. And I can move up and mix in those oscillators. Let's go ahead and take a look at the software instrument that we're playing here. This plugin, as you can see, has a lot of oscillators and options for shaping the sound. What we're going to focus on is all of the touch data from the instrument. There's a nice panel here that allows us to take a look at that. So you can see the strike, what they call the strike, is the same as velocity. So if I tap it lightly or hit it hard, this will go up and down. The glide is the left and right for the pitch bend. And then the slide is the up and down motion on the keys. And then you can also see that there's an after pressure curve for when I press it harder or softer after I've already struck the key. Additionally, you can see that there is a lift parameter, but we're not using that right now. So you can see that there's a lot of different ways to shape sounds. These are just modulators like anything else. They just happen to be coming from your fingers rather than something like an LFO, as you can see on this parameter. This is supported on the piano overlay, the music production overlay, the drums overlay, and really any overlay can be programmed to be a MIDI polyphonic expression instrument.